Oh. You know, there's something about floating down a remote river with no time frame necessarily, no place you have to be. Sometimes you paddle, sometimes you just float. Get out and stop and fish where you want to. Drink coffee where you want to. It's really hard to put into words how freeing and refreshing and relaxing that is. The best thing I can do is say, it's kind of like being a kid again. The excitement of what's around every corner. The peace, serenity, the ducks, the geese. The eagles. I hope you get to experience it sometime soon if you haven't. Even if you have, you know what I'm talking about then. The pure joy of floating the river. So that's what this video is. Welcome to Old Hat Fishing. Brand new channel for you guys that like this kind of stuff. So we kept a bunch of fish today. We don't normally do that, but um, this is the time of year where we can get out and catch a bunch for friends and family. So if you don't like that, probably don't want to watch anymore because we catch a lot. What a glorious day. That initial push off into the river is. Oh yeah. Yeah, what an amazing day. And gosh, what a hatch. Look at all the bugs, man. We'll see if that's good or bad for fishing. Yeah. I mean, the good thing about shrimp is they never hatch. <laughs> and they're always tasting good. <laughs> what do you got? Which hook would you use? Did you use the smallest one or that bigger one? Yeah, the smallest one for sure. The smallest one. And if that's too big, I got smaller ones. Like if you feel like you're not getting a good hook okay. on them. Yeah. I'm gonna start out, leave some trout for you guys. I'm gonna try to fish for a few whitefish here quick. Okay. Like in that pool, right below that stump, there's, it's like a, just a whitefish honey hole. What's candy. the, what are you gonna do different? Just use different bait? Yeah, a smaller piece of worm and just tip it just a little bit. You'll sometimes feel them hit the shrimp, uh -huh. but they, their mouth is so small they can't really eat it. So I'll put a little piece of worm on there and so definitely targeting trout today, but while I'm waiting for everybody to rig up, I'm gonna bypass some good trout water in search of, wait for it, whitefish. Mountain whitefish, they'll be in the same spot here, but just maybe on the inside, a little less current. Let's see if we can't pick a few of those up because we can keep like 25 of them compared to six trout, so they should be right in here. If I can keep the trout off, I'll let you know. Whitefish just have that little itty bitty mouth I don't think that's a whitefish. Oh, I didn't have my net with me. What kind of fisherman am I? Well, there's the first culprit of the day. That, that, believe it or not, that's not for me. That thing has been caught before. Probably by me, honestly. Oh, you're lucky one. You didn't hit hard either, right? Ooh, that's a nice, that's a, that's a tank. That's a nice male, I think. Ready? Oh, you know, he's good, big Kenny. Right up. There we go. Look at that fish. Yeah, that's a nice fish. That's some amazing color. Wow. <laughs> that's a good keeper. Wow. That is fantastic. Of course, I have my GoPro off for that, but that's that's. Man, that's awesome size. Uh, believe it or not, this is the target. That, that's a mountain whitefish. See that little mouth on there? I can't believe he swallowed it, but these are excellent, excellent table fare. And uh, keep a lot of them too, so. These guys are part of the salmonoid uh, family. Look more like a big shiner. 
but have a really delicious white flaky meat out of cold water. If it's warm, mm, throw them back. Can be great smoked, fried. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, maybe not. Just... He just thinks he's big. But I better start keeping something. Oh. He's up in the shallow right in front of me. Yeah. I mean, they all think... They just fight so much stronger in this river. I don't... Because he, he fights like a Boise... 20 inch fish sometimes. I guess I do have a net. I'll net you. That's another pike meal. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, it is. Huh. Boy, I didn't think it was. Did you ever eat him? Never tried. Well, I, I, I did uh, two summers ago. This was like fish, you know, it was like. Bony fish? Yeah. You know, they can be fun to catch, but they're still a disappointment. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, I saw that hook set, Angie. Was, oh, what is it? It's like a nice fish. Oh, yeah. That's that's a 20 plus fish right there. 20, 20 and three quarter. Hey, Al. How much? 20 and three quarter. Oh, that is a North American. Master angler, rainbow trout. That's great. What a great fish. Heck yeah. Here's what I'm using. Size 8 salmon egg hook. Salmon egg hook has a little... Um, I don't know if you can see it. It has a little barb on the back there. Helps keep the... Helps keep our bait on. We we'll use one or two small split shot. Mainly we want this bait going low and slow. If you're not bouncing bottom, picking up a few snags here and there, you're probably not in the right spot, at least for this time of year. I'm trying not to get sunburned, which is why I have my hood up. A little split shot like that. Always carry more in my pocket because I'm always added and taken off. Two split shot for now. Salmon egg hook, about 14, 16 inches off. Everybody always asks me, what kind of shrimp? Whatever I can find, but today it's this guy, salad shrimp. And that scent, they cannot resist this time of year. Cold water, they're not super, super active right now, so that's why we're doing this method. There. Oh, he's running, oh my gosh, he was so nice. He just ran upstream, I couldn't catch up to him. Man, disappointed. There, get him. Nice one. Oh yeah, he's very nice. I'd love to net him, but once again, my net is um back of the kayak. Wow, he's a very nice fish, Andrew. Those are all giants. I know, a big one. His last one here, huh? That's a fatty. Wow. Those how big this last one was. How big he was. I mean, look at his stringer. I mean, our little ones. Three more, buddy. All right. I was just thinking it's it's unfortunate that trout live in such ugly places as this. You know, we don't have very much scenery to look at. Yeah, it's a good thing the fishing's good because the scenery's rough. Nice one? Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. I'm gonna really uh, 
really peaceful stretch of river here. I got my hood on because last time I did this I got super sunburned on my ears, but I mean just look. Sometimes the uh, stillness, the quiet, is just what you need. <sighs> yeah, that's it. Helps you take a good breath in. Refreshing. The fishing is always, well, it's why we get out of here, but once we get out of here, we realize it's more than the fishing. Pretty um, still stretch of water right here. Not a whole lot of rapids or anything in this stretch it's a little bit slow moving so not as much fish either we'll get up here and get in the trees a little more and there'll be a few more pockets of fish early april things are melting spring is here Let's hey, see. Matt, yeah surely there's got to be perch and that spot where you oh shoot my gopro went in the coffee <laughs> Oh no. Hey, yeah, you guys still there? Oh, I can, oh, I got a smell there. Hmm. Oh man, it's coming right towards me. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh no, that's beautiful. Oh, I love that. Scouting out some new water. Looking for the right depth. We need depth. We need a little flow. And that's where the trout are. If we have depth without flow, it's stagnant. If we have flow without depth, it's too shallow. And the osprey eat them all. Pretty good right here. Any obstruction on the bank usually will be a, a good indicator. As long as we get some depth there. Uh, it just breaks up the flow a little bit and sometimes the trout will hide behind that. So, I mean, this seems very fishy here. We got good flow. Unless it's more, unless it's way shallower than I think. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that jump! Look at that jump! Yeah, he gave you a good jump. And a drag, man. Music to my ears. Wow, nice fish. That's a nice fish. Yeah. Beautiful. He's not happy about what he just fell for, though. Oh, there, he hammered it. Go. That, that's a tank. That's a tank. Nice. Just digging. Yeah, that's a big one. Fish for the smoker. Oh, oh boy. They just don't like being caught, you know? Wow. That's a nice fish. Yeah, look at that color. That's a really solid fish, head to toe. What? Oh, is it really? Another pike minnow? You are the king. Okay. That's a nice fish. That's huge. Fat. You're holding up. That's a big fish. No, oh, this is not a white fish. Oh. Wow. I'd really like for this to be a trout. No, come on, really? Gosh, that's heartbreaking. I really wanted that fish, guys. I mean, it's been a while since I've caught something big today. He got off, I never saw him. The river's so dark from this runoff. I'm sorry, sure to caught it for you. I don't know if you guys ever look at a piece of shrimp when you put it on, you think that's, that's gonna catch a fish. That's how I feel about that one. Here it is. Yep. Oh. Called it. Called it. That's a good one. Wow. I saw 
that one. <laughs> it's like calling your home run, right? Wow. That's an angry big fish, whatever it is. Oh, it's trout. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. And, oh. There we go. Take that, sucker. Here it is, nice. 18 inch rainbow or so. About time after all my misses. Okay, every once in a while we do what we call a harvest trip where we uh, catch fish for friends, family, ourselves. This is uh, it's one of those days. One, two, three, four. Four trout, one white fish. And keep two more trout. I threw back some small ones early, but I think we're gonna catch a few more big ones here and before everything's done. I do a lot of catch and release, but it is hard to pass up good, fresh fish. At least occasionally, you know what I mean? So, that's you, you know what I mean. There's a fish right there. Oh, that's a big fish. Oh, that's a big fish. Hope I'm recording. Oh, that's a great rainbow. That's the biggest one of the day. Oh man, this is a great fish. Big old male. Man, yes. Gosh, this is the, they get kind of a different color sometimes. This one's actually got like yellow. Look at this. Big old male with it. Somewhat of a hook jaw. And then beautiful color. Just kind of got like a yellowish tint to his belly here. Oh man. Can you make the drag sound your alarm clock? Is there a way to do that in your phone? It's so funny, I was literally thinking about the same thing. Really? Yeah. I mean, because that drag was just going off, I'm like, I love that sound. Yeah. Can you imagine waking up to that every morning is the drag? Right there. Every freaking cast now is a big fish. Another great fish. Man, what is it? Oh man, another giant rainbow. I'm like in them. Okay, another gorgeous male. I can tire him out and get him over here. Oh, oh, in the net, yes. Another amazing. Oh, this one's so cool. I just love how they're so different. Like this one here doesn't have hardly any spots. Like every rainbow is so different. Look at this thing. No spots up here. Hardly any to or right in the top of the back. And the color unbeatable. Oh, so awesome. You really got into him there. Oh, it's great. Here it is. Tapping it. Oh, he dropped it. Right there. Tap again. There. Right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 